What's going on everyone? Wildcard here bringing you another episode on Dragon Quest Monsters Joker. This time, how to get every single undead monster in this game. So let's just jump into it. So first up we have the ghost. The ghost is found at night on Infant Island. Next up we have the fire spirit found on Zeroth Island. Some chump is found at night on Infant Island as well. Ongul found at night on Zeroth Island. Modihan found on Zeroth Island um, in the desert cave, the desert underground cave. Demon Rider found at night on Zeroth Island. Ombi Boy found on Zeroth Island within the shrine, I believe. Skipper is found on Palish Island. Phantom Fencer, Celeste Island Shrine. That's where you find it. Like I can be found on Infant Island um, until the until Doctor Snap opens up the seal. Um, in that case, I don't think he would be scoutable anymore after that. Skeleton found on Infant Island. Walking Corpse, same as Fly Guy. Um, I don't think you could scout this again after um, the seal has been opened up. Oh, skip one. Um, Rasta Sama found on Silas Island. Hellhound found on Foot Island. Phantom Swordsman, um, Infant Island. You could actually fuse this by fusing two skeleton soldiers together. Which is this guy here, skeleton soldier. Yeah, so you can fuse this using skeleton and recto, or you could just scout it off a Silas Island um, within the shrine. Grim Rider is created using the Restless Armor and the Demon Rider. Two scoutable monsters, so yeah, you can create this monster pretty easily. Next up is Soul Spawn, scoutable on Infant Island. Next up, Stark Raven, which can be fused using the, skele the Skeleton and Silver Pithecus. Will and Weed, you can find this on Foot Island to scout. Next up is the Tortured Soul. You can fuse this using the Living Statue and Stark Raven. Next up is Rose Guardian. Now you need the Bone Baron and Lethal Armor. Lethal Armor is scoutable and Bone Baron is... Uh, well, I think I'll get the Bone Baron. Um, yeah, I'll get the Bone Baron. Yeah. Bone Baron is the next month, so I didn't see that yet. So here we have Bone Baron, which is the Mohawker and the Grim Rider. Next we have uh, Dalahan. Dalahan is the Bone Baron crossed with the Phantom Pencil. So these are simple enough to create for, uh, you know, uh, A rank, S rank monster. Next up is White King. White King is the Tortured Soul crossed with the King Slime. Yeah, so Tortured Soul went through how to get that and King Slime you could either choose one or you can scout it. Um, I remember seeing on a post someone said that, you know, you can't um, scout a King Slime. You can scout King, King Slime, it's found um, where you took the monster, monster Scout Pledge on Infant Island. Um, it's just to get it to spawn. Next up we have Captain Crow, which is a S-rank monster you get for free just for doing like a little side quest where you need to battle him a few times. I have a separate video on how to go about doing this to get Captain Crow. Okay, I'll try my best to pronounce this. Uh, Ogodamir. Satisfied? Hopefully that was correct. So, how you get him is the Alabaster Dragon crossed with uh, Mortimer. And next up is a Quad Fusion with this guy. Hopefully he looks familiar because he is a Dr. Snap. Did the Final, quote unquote, well, he is the final boss of the game if you, if you don't count post game, other than that, S Stark could be um, considered as the final boss of the game, but you, you get my point. So he's a quad fusion, and how exactly you make him? You need. Okay, so first pair that you need is there's only one way to make this. So you have one pair and another pair. First pair for this quad fusion is Rapton 2 and Ogodemir. Right? One pair. Next pair is Captain Crow and Darkonium Slime. 
So you get your Raptor to fuse it with Elgodomir, and your Captain Pro fuse it with the Darkonium Slime. And then you fuse the result infusions for that, end up with Dr. Snap, which is with it, Dr. Snap is a pretty powerful monster, it's a pretty good monster as well. Um, I, it's one of the strongest monsters in the game in my opinion. Anyways, if... Uh, and that's it for this video, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check the description for full fusion details, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, I think I'll do one on the Encarni family, even though it probably doesn't seem it seems kind of pointless to do one like that but just to complete the whole um monster family i'll do it that one would should be a short video as well so until next time goodbye